Hi there, my name is Lajan Bex and I specialize in light and sound therapy for people to journey into themselves by using uh, technology such as light machines, uh, gongs, and these light machines such as the, the RX-1 here by uh, the company Roxiva is a latest edition which um, uses 16 LEDs using white light only to stimulate both left and right hemispheres of the brain using the visual cortex, the, the eyes when they're closed. Uh, to produce uh, very um, psychedelic states of consciousness, very similar, mirrored in very similar ways to plant medicines that are out there currently, such as DMT, magic mushrooms, ayahuasca. So this is what I specialize in. And recently I've put, a, put together a new event, which is um, an ayahuasca themed uh, light journey, which basically starts... Um, with some cacao, which is the only plant medicine that I'm, I'm using in this event. Um, use some breath work, uh, guided meditation, and then I put a group of people under the RX-1 light machine. Uh, this is pointed down and they get a number of uh, heads underneath, people laying on their back with their eyes closed. And with that, people go into themselves, release any fears or emotions or anything that comes up that's brewing up to the surface for, for healing. So I guide people through that process and they guide themselves in the process too for, for healing, for letting go, for clearing past memories that are perhaps haunting them, some past traumas. In the many, many years I've done these events, um, these psychedelic sort of meditation parties as sometimes I call them, um, not always but sometimes this does happen is that emotions do come to the surface for people to heal and also what i use is gongs these are sound healing tools these are musical instruments that are big round pieces of metal that um when played vibrate through your body and i did a live blood analysis many years ago of taking a uh, blood uh, samples a uh, pinprick of blood before and after uh, a sound journey before the sound journey um, all the blood was thick and like stuck together, all the cells, all the platelets and blood cells were all stuck together. And then after the sound journey, uh, all, the, all the blood was free and flowing. You could see it moving and free and healthy. And what that basically, uh, for me, goes to show is that we, we hold on to tension within our bodies. This is how dis-ease is, you know, manifested in the body. This ease was a word which was D-I-S, then uh, hyphen, then ease. It was two, two sort of separate words as a whole. But nowadays it's been translated to disease. So it was a distortion in the body or, or like tension. And, and so that's like the purpose of my facilitation of in these events is um, shaking up the, the debris, the heaviness that's in the body and releasing that. So I use a number of um, emotional healing tools as well as hands-on healing, some breath work, which is very powerful. These tools all put together in a special way and how I guide people allows these, this tension in the body, in the mind, in the consciousness, in the soul almost, to then um, be released and to let go. Um, the great thing about the light machine, such as the RX-1 here, um, is that it's a very uh, strobe it's, it's, a, it's a stroboscopic uh, light machine, which it strobes white light. So it's not suitable for people who are, you know, prone to epilepsy or seizures or have a history of that. Um, so it, it can be a bit um, unnerving for some people, a very small percentage. But 99% of people, they love it. They, they want it longer. They want it stronger. Um, but... In the process, it can be quite overwhelming sometimes, uh, where it can bring up these emotions for people to heal. So I have never taken ayahuasca. I have taken other plant medicines in the past, so I have an understanding of what to expect. But um, sometimes with plant medicines, you, you're not in control in some way. You know, it's like the plant medicine is overtaking you and you cannot escape that trip for sometimes 12 hours or six hours. It can last quite a long time. And for me, I've had some, you know, really interesting experiences many, many years ago, and I'm glad I've took them because it's, you know, I cannot continue doing what I do without seeing the other side. And now, you know, I've been basically, you know, clean and sober for many years. Um, I've lost count how long, but that's because I know that what I took many years ago, 
I took DMT. I've taken uh, acid. <laughs> um, I wasn't heavily into it. I always did it meditatively, and it did open up my eyes to the world what was out there. But for the last ten years, you know, using light machines, you know, lamps. This has been a whole different tool where I just don't feel like, you know, drawn to taking any plant medicines anymore because this does it all basically. Um, you know, I've seen the same effects with people um, crying, laughing. Um, after a session, they have to go for a walk. Sometimes I think they never come back, but they just have to go back and you know go out into the world and into nature and to reflect on the session, what's happened. You know. People have, um, you know, experienced all sorts of beautiful things. Um, and sometimes I see, uh, as an intuitive person, I see what is going on energetically with that person. And so I can say, I, sometimes I can turn the light off, and I, especially if it's a one-to-one, -one, and I say, is everything okay? You look a bit tense there or a bit emotional. And they say that sometimes the light is making them feel this certain way. They don't like it. And I said, okay, it's it's probably most likely not the light. Like, you know, can you relate that feeling to something that's happened in the past? And they go, yeah, actually. I was like, okay, well, this, is, this isn't the light making you feel that way. This is an emotion or a memory um, reminding you of something that happened. And like, can you find the source of that? And they say, sort of, I think I know where it's come from. I was like, okay, let's try again. Let's put you on the light, same setting. And I just want you to go with that emotion, allow it to surface. And then I just want you just to take a little breath in and just ask yourself, do you need to hold on to this? And, you know, sometimes I'm guiding them in the process, sometimes not. And I just tell them the tools beforehand and I say, OK, then just allow it to let go away from your energy body, away from your men men mental body. And, uh, you know, if it don't, no longer serves you, you can basically let it go. And I've seen some incredible results after that. When people do that, they completely let go and they feel so much lighter and they have more energy and it's completely transformed lots of people. But the light machine is used in many different ways for like sleep, um, enhanced creativity, um, more cognitive functioning like uh, speed learning, um, deep meditations, out of body experiences, more happiness, battling through depression, anxiety. Um, there's a number of things that this magical piece of technology here is is advancing even more and helping so many people um what i found recently in the last few months of researching about um plant medicines especially ayahuasca which uses i've i think two different um plant medicines one of them is dmt um which is dimethyltryptamine and another um another stimulant another medicine which i can't remember however I remember that the molecule or DMT looks very similar to serotonin. So serotonin is a molecule, a hormone that's released in our body in the presence of light and light stimulation. So when we are out going for a walk and we're in nature and we get that natural light, um, or even with LED lighting, doesn't matter, light, we, we feel happy. The most highest suicide rate and depression I, I have heard and believed many years ago, I, I researched about this, is in, is in more the northern hemisphere, like around Norway, because of the lack of sunlight, and especially in winter months. They get like three or four hours of sunlight only, and then it's dark. So there's a quite a high rate of depression there and people who feel much lower in mood. As well as you go more towards the equator area and more tropical regions, people seem to be much more happy. And this is all to do with the, you know, the presence of light and the quality of light also. And I guess shift work doesn't really help with that either. You know, um, this is why another reason why light machines are a great addition to have into your into your current reality, where perhaps you are having shift work and you're not getting so much light time, you know, from daylight, daylight time, which can completely affect the circadian rhythm, which is our internal body clock. Um, so I've seen this machine and other machines really help and assist people mentally, physically. Um, I have a number of stories myself. I've been working here at the retreat center for many, many years. Uh, we moved here in 2004. It taken 10 years to build the main retreat center and ongoing other developments and buildings after that. And I was working out in the gardens in the summer, 14 hours a day, 
you know, ha not having a lot of rest. And I did this for about seven or eight days in a row and I was drained. I was drained working just so hard, not having any time off, had no help with, with me building and doing the garden and maintenance. And I was just like completely tired until I basically thought I'm going to have a go on on the light machine, which I did. And I only had like an, I think a 45 minute session. I must have fallen asleep a little bit. I woke up and I felt renewed. And this is another thing that another addition of many the benefits of uh, the light machine is that how how this stimulates our being you know we are solar powered beings in some way that light affects us i mean i'm in my studio at the moment and there's all these lights it's okay i feel feel good um but we do not realize what we miss until we don't have it in our lives at all so yeah um in my events i i use the light machine, which is an amazing uh, piece of equipment, especially this new one, which is the RX-1 by Roxiva. Let's say it's um, got a headphone port in here, three touch push buttons, an LCD screen to know what's going on. Has a fan in there for cooling in very much hotter environments around the world. And it's growing and people are having some amazing experiences. But the most magic really is two things, is the internal sessions, which are, have been created uh, using specific frequencies for for deep meditation, it's like a it's like a beautiful cocktail of meditation frequencies with some visual frequencies. Um, it's very very easy to use. So this is what I use now in my events, um, especially ones that mirror plant based medicines such as like ayahuasca and DMT. And you know, people want that getaway. They want that escape from the world where they can basically detach from this physical reality for a little while and have an experience and feel like they're not living in the current nine to five, you know, work, hectic life, and they want to escape and go into themselves. And meditation works, it does. But we live in such a fast paced um, society now where everything is impulse buying, everything is just, we cannot wait to get to get something. It's like next day delivery, like Amazon. <laughs> so um, and talking about the Amazon, yeah, you know, this is where, um, you know, these plant medicines have been used for, for thousands of years to assist people to go within themselves. And but now there's technology which can reflect that, such as light machines, which I, I use and I guide people. So the events that I do are evolving with me and it, it cannot evolve without the feedback of people such as yourselves who you know, assist in the process of understanding what is going on. So again, the experiences that people have um, of basically going under the light, having these psychedelic experiences that mirror plant medicines. And I've had a number of people who have, you know, taken DMT, had ayahuasca, had magic mushrooms, and they're like, it's a full on psychedelic trip. It's like, it's, it's a very similar, you know, it's not exactly the same because it's technology opposed to plant medicines, but from my experience too, it's very similar. It can bring up the very similar same feelings, but you are more totally in control rather than plant medicine taking control over you. So this is a lot more safer and controllable. You can basically stop it and you're gonna feel some effects after, but it's not gonna be as potent as um, a plant medicine which can keep, you know, put you in that trance-like state for for hours on end and you're not control you're not in control you know you can't go out and drive after or um you know you're not 100% with it and also that it's chemicals in the brain you know if you if you abuse these substances too much it can really affect our neurochemistry you know to to a huge extreme and and it's like i've seen people who have taken these plant medicines just once and they've had a change and they feel like they don't no longer need it anymore they just they feel you know, that they've gained something. And I've had that too. I've, you know, took DMT once and had an experience and I was like, okay, I know what it's about now. Um, but some people get very addicted into it, of course. Um, so yeah, uh, light machines are a great addition to uh, lots of things in, in your everyday waking life. Basically any conscious state that you are in or can get into, you can um, enhance it with a light machine by prolonging those states much, much deeper. Um, it's basically a total body reset, which this can do. It can reset your body clock in a way, in, in the right conditions. Um, 
I say it's assisting many, many people. Over the many years of me giving sessions to many people across the UK and across Europe, uh, I've seen people completely transform and change, and especially in more prolonged events. This is why my events and my evening events typically last three and a half hours, three and a half, four hours in total. No, that's not how long you're going under this. This is just the duration of time in breaks, reflection, a feedback, going back into it, going back into a meditation, coming out, having feedback. It's so you're under this like a couple of times in the evening. Uh, and that's all you need, really. And some people find that the effects, like the um, good feeling effects, last for quite a good week, <laughs> a few weeks sometimes, um, in a good way. They feel much more awakened in themselves. And I mean, uh, don't just hear it from me. Look at the other testimonials that are, are on you know, the videos um, connected to this video. And you'll find that people have had their own unique experiences. And that's, that's the best thing is that, you know, for years I was doing uh, mediumship and giving people answers which they needed, but nothing was more valuable and more evidential and more personal than getting their own experience themselves by having an experience. And this is why I use light, I use sound with gongs, I use um, cacao, breath work. I'm activating all the five, five senses to ignite the sixth, basically. And that's what I specialize in. And this is the magic of, you know, uh, you know, technology opposed to plant medicines, where plant medicines, they are safe to some degree, but you shouldn't overdo it with light. You cannot overdo it with light. You cannot overdose on light, basically. Um, but everything by, you know, balance, everything um, in its own time and the way it's supposed to, supposed to work. So I hope that's given you a bit of insight into more of the therapies that I do in my events. Uh, meditation parties, uh, psychedelic events, um, everything I offer is legal. Uh, people do not ingest in ayahuasca or other plant medicines apart from chocolate, which is cacao, uh, which is the raw chocolate form, um, which is perfectly safe. And yeah, I don't ever want to put anybody under pressure. And um, to be honest, sometimes a gong bath is all people need. But um, you know, if you've had a gong bath before and not a light session, and perhaps you're thinking, nah, this can't do the same thing as, as, as psychedelics and plant medicines, it can, very much similar. And there's plenty of sessions on here that are pre-made, pre-recorded sessions, basically, with an audio track that you just press play and go and you're, you're there. Just make sure in the, in the right environment, no distractions, let yourself go. And I promise you, you're gonna have an amazing experience. So you can either purchase one of these yourself by clicking down the link below, or come to one of my events. And, you know, I would love to hear your feedback and your experience. Um, everyone's first time is very unique, very beautiful, very rememberable, and you'll never forget it. I remember my first time and I was blown away. And it's still magical and powerful as it was the first day. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope this is uh, giving you a bit of insight into plant medicines versus uh, light machines. And yeah, I look forward to connecting with you soon. So until then, have a great day and um, enjoy.